The gates are repaired in a bid to seal the damage created in a night incident that has shocked the residents here, but the damage caused inside the house is far beyond any repair. 32-year-old Banti Shah died in his home after a raid witnesses say lasted about an hour. Well, they came in from the gate, as you see, the one that is being repaired. They came, they broke in with force. There were three Pajeros without number plate, a full armory car, with uh, everybody carrying rifles and all that. The number of those who entered the compound remains unknown. Who they were and their mission here is a mystery. <laughs> Broken doors, shattered glasses, this soil covers a blood spill, telling of a horrific night in the serene neighborhood of Westlands area. A single shot fired in the semi-darkness snuffed out the life of the 32-year-old, what is believed to have been the work of a well-trained professional. It is alleged that Shah was shot when he fired in the air after learning of the intrusion. No, only one shot, and it was a sniper rifle that was used. It passed through here and came out from the back. The way they came in, they just left. Nobody was allowed to come in, said not even the police officers were allowed. The night guard was injured in the attack and is nursing injuries at the Kikuyu hospital. Askari alikuwa amekatwa hivi na huko amefunjika. Basi pale siku nini nimekata kabisa waliingia walipoingia waliingia na keti. Police officers who responded to a distress call were turned back by the intruders. An ambulance also having to wait until the elite unit left. Walipoanza kwenda walikuwa na gari kubwa sana kama hama. Shah, a father of a four-month-old, is the son of business tycoon Vipin Shah, who owns Bob Mill Mattresses Factory. I don't think this young boy had any kind of issues with anybody. We are just asking the president to kindly give justice to, justice to this young boy. Gigiri OCPD Vitalis Otieno confirmed the shooting but declined to give more details. Senior Crime Prevention Unit and Anti-Terror Police Unit officers also disowned the raid. Masika Ndietanui, Sunday Live.